Good morning, it's April 26th and it's time for our daily dose of good news for today, this beautiful spring day. And we are going to read from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Now as an elder myself and a witness of the suffering of Christ, as well as one who shares in the glory to be revealed, I exhort the elders among you to tend the flock of God that is in your charge, exercising the oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you do it, not for sordid gain, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those in your charge, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will win the crown of glory that never fades away. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders, and all of you must clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Here ends the reading. And as I continue to reflect on you all as a congregation and on my experience as an intern with you all, I continue to be amazed at how richly blessed I have been in that. And part of that is because of the wealth and the depth of your faith, of your wisdom, of your community and your relationship with one another. And those are rich gifts. You have a lot of strength and I would even say expertise in your congregation. And that's, that's a gift that God has endowed upon you and which God has lifted up and fostered in you all. And that's a beautiful thing. And when I read this passage, part of what I thought about is as we're starting to come back to church more and more, and I think our numbers are probably going up each week, I would guess, but to remember that, to remember that you are elders in this congregation to those who are younger than you. So whether you are a parent and you're modeling for your teenage kids or your elementary kids or your preschool kids, or whether you're an older adult and you're modeling for your adult children, or whether you are an older adult and you're modeling for your grandchildren or for others in the congregation, I'd like you to, to consider that charge of, I exhort the elders among you to tend the flock of God that is in your charge. And so to encourage you, how do you reach out to other members of the congregation and help foster their faith? Especially after this pandemic, when we've all been so fragmented and been in different spaces, it's going to be really important for us to wrap our arms around each other and come back into community with one another and for people to feel fostered in their faith. And for you to use the gifts that you have to encourage the growth of those in the congregation whom you can assist and whom you can work with and whom you can accompany and come alongside. And I know the past year, it's been kind of individual lives in a lot of ways, right? We've all masked and we've done the social distancing and it might be easy for that to have become a habit. I think habits form in about 21 days. So we're used to probably doing more isolated things right now than previously. That may change our congregation and how we operate it. So we might need to be really intentional to step outside of that behavior and to think about as we return to church more and more and as we'll be starting groups probably at church more and more as people continue to get vaccinated, how do you join with other members in the congregation, not as an obligation, but as something that you are willing and eager to do and gifted at in order to support this congregation, in order to enhance the growth 
of the spiritual life of this congregation, I think that's both an exciting thing and a sweet thing to think about. So I offer that for your reflection today and something you can pray about yourself and you can ask God about too of, God, where do you want me? What do you need me to do? Where do you call me? How do you call me to assist with Holy Trinity or in the faith lives of those around me? And think about ways that you can do that humbly. I think you are pretty humble in general. I see humility in our congregation. But to consider how might God want to use you to become closer to somebody else in our congregation. So that is good news that we are community to one another, serving and loving a beautiful God who loves us all. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.